I'm Mike Sinclair, and welcome to Screen Freak Magic Reveal. In today's video, as promised, I've had a lot, a lot of requests to do some levitations without the use of strings or invisible threads. I know a lot of you guys don't have access to that, and some of you may not be able to afford them, and that's no problem, because today, I'm going to show you guys another awesome levitation that does not involve any strings at all. Um, it's great for restaurant magic and it's it's pretty much impromptu so if you guys are ready let's check it out okay guys here's the effect we're going to be using a uh, an empty cup you can get these pretty much at any restaurant they're going to pretty much have the same size cups you can pass it out for examination you can even borrow it which is really cool and uh what's really cool about the end of this is you can hand it out for inspection afterwards and they're not going to see anything. So check it out. Just like that, the cup levitates and you can pass it out for complete inspection. You guys ready to learn how that was done? Perfect. I'm going to show you right now. Okay guys, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a, a paper, cardboard, I, I don't know what these are made of, a uh, cup that you can get from McDonald's, Burger King, Bojangles, pretty much any fast food restaurant is going to have this type of a cup. Now, I know some of you may have seen the illusions where someone takes a styrofoam cup and they'll take their thumb and they'll put a hole in the back of the cup and they'll make it appear to levitate that way. But the problem with that is when you're done, you can't hand it out for inspection. So it, it kind of it kind of really ruins the trick. Your, your best option is to ball it up and throw it away and destroy all the evidence. But, but we don't want that. We want something that you can use anytime and everything is available for examination. And that's a pretty big deal. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a cup and we're going to need some double sided tape. Now this is a Scotch brand. I picked this up at Kroger for just a few bucks. You can get it at Walmart, any craft store. You can even get it at a dollar store probably for a dollar. Now what you want to do is you want to pull off a piece about an inch long and you want to stick it right across your thumb. I don't even know if you guys can see that. But if I, if I move my arms fast, you're definitely not going to see it. So we're, we're already set up here. This is the setup. We get the cup, we borrow it, we get our own, it doesn't matter. If you want to really sell it, you can put the lid on it, have a straw coming out of it to where it looks like it's actually full. Now here's what we're going to do. With the tape on our thumb, we're going to press it right against the back of the cup. Now I recommend not going any more than halfway up because once you get to that point, there's a possibility that the tape is going to stick to the cup when you pull it off and you can't hand that out for examination because you've given away the effect. But we're going to go uh, a little less than, than halfway down. And uh, in position like this, we're going to be able to hold it by our hand. And it's going to stick. Okay? Now we're going to hold it with our right hand. And we're just going to kind of set it in our left hand like we're bracing it. And then slowly move our fingers away. And as we do that, we're going to lift up. And you can even use your thumb to move the cup around like you don't have full control over it, which is which is a, a, a really cool effect. And then you bring it right back down to your hand. And as you do that, you pull your hand away, and the tape is concealed right there. So this is completely, immediately available for examination. There's no holes in the back. They're not going to see any trickery. And as they're looking at that, you're simply going to take your index finger, peel that tape away, drop it in the floor, put it in your pocket. If they want to look at your hands later, you're completely clean. And that is a no string levitation. You can do pretty much anywhere, anytime. Okay guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was easy to follow and I hope you will practice this and perform this on your next outing. Before we go, I want to make sure you check out my man Frankie Foe TV's magic channel on YouTube. I'll include a link so you can check that out. He's got a lot of great effects and some awesome tutorials. So please, please do not miss out on that. 
If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to share the videos and subscribe for more magic and magic revealed. Thanks for being awesome. See you guys next time.